How's it going everyone? Welcome back out to my new job site. If you didn't see the walkthrough of this property, I will leave that link down below in the description. It's nothing too fancy, but it just goes over the current plan that I'm gonna be executing over the next couple days. Today, day number one, we're out here nice, bright, and early. The sun's just coming up over the mountain, a little bit past six o'clock. We're about to start cutting the first road, which is gonna turn into the driveway. So it's gonna be going all the way back to the home site. And then step two, after we get access for my quad, is to cut a road going from the home site out to a power pole so that they can run electricity. So basically, the name of the game today is access. Getting access to the home site and then from the home site to the power pole. All that's laid out in that walkthrough video. Once again, link down below. Let's get to work. dollar view with a deer on the spit a 50 cal rifle and a bone dry kit peace in the valley and bugles on the ridge traps are sprung where the water flows the days are warm and the nights are cold the grass is soft and the moon is bright and big I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but we made it out here to the home site. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear the driveway of any of the down trees or limbs that I just cut up. Yes, I could get my quad back here as they set, but I would just prefer to clean up my mess than continue adding to it. After that, we're gonna come back out here, keep pushing beyond the home site, out back to that power pole. It's maybe 75, 80 yards from the home site, so a little bit of work, but not too bad. Let's get rolling. I don't need money. Don't want silver Just give me clean air And the sound of a running river The only world I ever cared to hold Are these skies full of Rocky Mountain gold Just came back from my lunch break So let me give you guys a little bit of a status update and an updated plan so you can see we cleared out a large portion of where the home site's going to be or nearby where the home site's going to be still a couple more flag trees i need to take out you can't really see them through the limbs over there and then through here that tall it's only like 35 40 foot tops that tall lodge pole right there that one's going to be coming out and then basically just straight through there you may be able to see the flags that's where the road's gonna be going. That said, I'm gonna wait to take this guy out and there's a couple other larger ones towards the back. I'm gonna wait to take them out until I have all the scrubby stuff out of the way. The reason for that is I can just easily skid those trees whole all the way up to where I'm just making a massive slash pile. This guy and the other big ones, if I'm taking a log, I have to skid the log. If I'm taking firewood, I have to bring my trailer and load it up with firewood. Either way, I'm gonna have to more or less make a U-turn at some point. And as you guys can see, there's not really a spot to make a U-turn right now. It's just full of trees. So this is kind of where the problem solving aspect comes into play. While yeah, it would be nice just to cut a long strip all the way through here to the power pole, I really need to be selective because all I have to move these trees is my quad. So while, yeah, I'm being very low impact because of the quad, the downside is it makes it a little bit tougher to do stuff like this. So got to be smart with what you're doing. Got to have a plan. I think we got a pretty good one so far. Got to clean these limbs up and then keep on cutting back there. So we're going helmet cam. There's the home site, obviously. Hopefully you can see it all right. There's the power pole. Here's our road. We're going to just cut these guys here, uh, dead guy brush that up a little bit, cut that, just, you know, make our way to the power pole and then start skidding them out. After that, I am gonna need to file up my chain because I'm stumping these pretty low. I'm gonna do a little voiceover and talk about that. So let's get ripping and rolling. And there we go. So to answer the question as to why I'm stumping all these low, and you could watch me cut this little nub right here, I mean all the way in the dirt low. 
is because it's just more advantageous for what I'm doing using the quad to skid these trees, logs, and limbs. I don't run a cat. I don't have a legitimate skidder. I just have my ATV with a choker. So if the butt end of a log hits one of these stumps, even if it's just barely sticking up out of the ground, it might not do any damage, of course, depending on how fast I'm going, but it'll definitely shake things around if you catch my drift. So we just want to avoid that as much as possible. The other reason is it's just more advantageous from a time, money, and work perspective. Since this is going to be a road, not just going out to the home site, but also this one that I'm cutting here, going to the power pole, all these stumps would have to come out, whether I'm cutting them where I am, or if we're going to have to rent a stump grinder, and then I'm going to have to spend my time, the landowner's then going to have to pay me, not just for the rental, but also for my time. And again, it's just a lot better if I'm able to stump these at or below ground level as I'm doing. And I know that the soil around here, especially at the top level, doesn't have very many rocks. And I've actually been able to get a full day out of this chain. So it's not like it's the best having to wreck out a chain, but at the same time, it's working okay. As you guys can probably see behind me, we made a lot of good progress today. Now that said, we are nowhere near being done. There's still a couple big, they're not big, but big for the property trees that are along the path going out to the power pole that still need to come out. But thankfully we have a functional trail that goes from the front of the property clear back to that power pole now. Took a lot of work, a little over eight hours actually, but I'm done for the day. And that was actually the majority of the work that the property owner had laid out for me. So a lot of work getting done in one day. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna stop flapping my gums because I'm gonna put my helmet on. And we're gonna ride the ATV back to the end of the property. And I'm gonna show you the trail that I cut today. Let's get rolling. Now I wasn't sure where they wanted the driveway to start. I knew that this tree was flagged, but I didn't know about, you know, anything back here. So gonna leave that up to them. And yeah, let's get rolling.